Here are the best two resources I use nearly every day to improve my prompt engineering skills, my prompting skills, and I think you should take a look because the probability of you sucking at prompts is pretty high, but let me fix that for you with these two free tools. If you don't know me, my name's Nico. I run an SEO agency. I also run an online community, the AI Ranking and Automation Hub, where I teach people all about AI-powered SEO, search engine optimization, and how to make AI-powered automations. If you want to check that out, I'll leave it in the description below. Let's get started. The first one is from Anthropic. These are the guys who created Claude AI. You're going to sign up to Anthropic and go to the URL console.anthropic.com forward slash dashboard. I'll leave a link to the resources below. When you sign up and go to that link, you need to click generate a prompt. Now, reading the instructions quickly, this says for best results, be sure to describe your task in as much detail as possible, including the input data the prompt should expect, as well as how the output should be formatted. Each generation will consume a little bit of Opus tokens, which is part of your API. So for this instances, we're going to use this little prompt for the prompt, promptception. And that is, I want a prompt that will act as a copywriting expert. Its purpose will be to read the content it will be provided, which will be a tweet and turn that into a LinkedIn post that encourages interaction. I'm gonna hit generate prompt. It's going to understand that and it's gonna start providing me with a much more detailed prompt that I can then copy and paste into ChatGPT or Claude AI. And already now from that little prompt that I gave it, it expanded that prompt so much more and I will get a better outcome from my GPT or Claude AI or even Google. These are still programs. So the quality of the output is directly related to the quality of the input. By improving your prompt, you automatically improve your output as well as the content that you provided with the prompt. But yeah, I highly recommend this. You can start editing, meaning you can use it by then putting the tweet content in there as well and you will see the prompt itself in action there from that little sentence i got this major high quality prompt i highly recommend it the second source that i use is troy the prompt generator specialist this is a custom gpt that i'll leave a link to there i didn't create the prompt for this i just created it into a custom gpt this is much more of a conversational aspect of it or you can grab the same thing but it's going to ask you additional questions probably so we're going to use the same example and give it to Troy. It's going to create this for you as well, actually. This is not as obviously as large, but here with Troy, you can have a back and forth conversation like, please expand on the output of the LinkedIn post. And again, it's like a custom GPT, but it's trained to create a better prompt for you. Again, even with this, the quality of the input of the information that you gave it is going to increase the quality of the output already. It has, you know, really increased that for me. So by having these two tools under your tool belt, your prompting skills will already increase. And again, the quality of the input will increase the quality of the output. Check those two resources below. If you want to learn more stuff, give me a subscribe, give me a like. I hope you like this video and comment what you would like to see next. Cheers.